Congratulations! Aww, our little graduates grumpy. Aww. We are so proud of you guys. Who would have thought you, a night school graduate? That just proves they're going to give anyone a diploma these days. <laughs> you know, you have to work hard and study and put in the effort, but... Yeah. We're all here to celebrate your big day with you, buddy. Now hurry up and get dressed. I'm making a breakfast. And then we're taking you to John Gee's to get you spruced up. And then we're going to have a big party. Not just us. Polly, Veronica, everyone's going to be there. Oh, congratulations, Chaz. We're all very proud of you. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, I hope I didn't say anything wrong. Yeah, Ted, that we're all very proud of you, Chaz, was super out of line. What do you mean there's no graduation ceremony? Of course I don't listen. You don't speak. It's a good thing I have John Gee on speed dial. Small change in plans. Apparently they don't do graduation ceremonies for night school. Chaz claims he told me, but I don't remember. So, yeah. Wait, there's still going to be a party though, right? Oh, absolutely. Chaz might even come. Um, excuse me for a moment, but uh, Hunter, can I borrow you for a minute? Why do you have a barber on speed dial? Boy, I got hair in other places. Just because you don't see it, doesn't mean I don't keep it groomed for those who do. Gross. So, the party's still on. But we have a big problem. Chaz doesn't want Ted at the party for some reason. I'm not surprised. Well, maybe can you tell me? Because I have no idea why he doesn't like him. Dude, Chaz is in love with you. Say what? I need you to know that I don't want to wear dresses and makeup anymore. No, that's not it. Oh no, I think that's spot on, personally. I mean, you can't keep hiding this information from him, not if you're going to marry him. Oh, you haven't made up your mind yet. Well, my little poppet, the world doesn't stop spinning just because you want time to stand still. I know. I just, I need him to know about the dresses and things before I tell him anything else. Good morning. Oh, morning. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I hope we didn't wake you. Oh, no. It wouldn't be a big deal then if you did. If you're up, I'm up. Well, he certainly is. So what were you and Carla talking about? I'm sure it was pretty darn interesting. Um, we were talking about you, actually. I, I, I mean, about us. Ooh, I like that topic. I, um, I need to, I need to tell you something, Ernie. I need to, I, I need to talk to you about something. Um, Go on, precious. The thing I need to say to you, Ernie, is, um, you see, the, the, the thing I want to talk to you about is, uh, <sighs> oh. oh, yeah, we should, we should have talks like this more often. Uh, oh, my little coward. <sighs> Mr. Foley, you really don't need to do this. Spencer. And I do. David asked me to help you with the ceremony. You know... I've been here a few weeks now, and I still haven't seen Marshall Phelps or Sister Mercy. Uh, they actually were my introduction to the faith. Do you know where I could find them? They've been harvested. That's all you need to know. Okay, um... So, uh... Mr. Foley, uh... I've seen you around a lot lately, but me and you really haven't had a chance to talk that much. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay then. Now sit still. The sooner you stop fidgeting, the sooner we can both be finished with this. I remember my ceremony. David asked his most trusted follower to do this to me. After she disappeared, I was happy to take her place as his right hand man. So doing this for you 
is a great honor. I see how he looks at you. You think you can replace me. No, that thought never even entered my mind. No one can come between me and David, not even his childhood boyfriend. Is that what he said we were? Spencer, we have to talk. I am busy, and you have chores to do. Well, what the hell with the chores? Huh? We are going to talk now. You have 30 seconds, Percy. Well, I was just on the phone with my bank. Phones are not permitted for seedlings in the faith of what? the field. Seedling, take this rebellious sprout to hmm? the meditation chamber. <laughs> Why was he so concerned about his bank account? Just stop talking. We both want this to end, so shut up! Now, don't move. I wouldn't want to slip and cut your throat. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. she's actually been impersonating me for the past year. Yeah, but I'm, I'm Apollina. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, well, see, I'm actually a singer as well, and so I was thinking that maybe I could just be the part of the band. Of course, yeah. No, I understand. She, she bit the drummer. <laughs> I could see how that would be very traumatic for him. Yes. I'm so sorry. Uh, of course. No, I completely understand. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your, t your time. Apollina is back in the house. <laughs> oh. Gosh. Come in. Hi, Milton. Hello, pretty Polly. Come in. Come, have a seat. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I have a hole in my t-shirt. Of course you do. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's so good to see you again. <laughs> it's so good to see you again, too. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. Sure. Um, can I get you something to drink? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, thank you so much for coming. Um, because I like seeing you again. <laughs> I love seeing you again too. Um, but I, I need you to just listen to me for a minute. I, I need to apologize for the last few times that you've seen me. Oh, like at that funeral that was not actually a funeral? Yeah. 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 Great. <laughs> yeah. And probably the time after that. See, my sister, my twin sister Piper, actually has been impersonating me for the past year. So anytime that you've seen me, you've actually been seeing her, so. I'm missing something in my translation. No, no, you heard me right. My twin sister Piper has been impersonating me for the past year. So anytime that you've had anything inappropriate come out of me, it's really been her. So I wanted to just apologize for anything that she said. Oh, well. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't care. Whatever. I'm just glad to see you. Thank you. I'm glad to see you, too. Wow. You're a lot prettier than she is. And it's smarter. You're, like, so smart. I mean, not, like, book smart, because you're not. But uh, you're, like, kind. And you're kind to other people. And that's so important to me. Because even if you're, like, not smart, you're kind. And pretty. I'm proud of you, Poppet. It takes guts to tell your boyfriend you don't want to dress up like a woman for him anymore. Or is it fiancé? You'll know when he does. Oh, Anthony, my little precious Poppet. Oh! I don't think he washed his hands. I did not hear the faucet. I did wash my hands, in case you were wondering. Liar! Um, look, Ernie. I, I was hoping we could have a talk, you know? I, I, I wanted to have a talk this morning, but... Oh, if you want to have another little talk, like we had this morning, I'm, uh, 
I'm good to go, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe later. Um, what I was hoping to talk to you about was... What time does Chaz's party start? Uh... Six, I think, but I was... Yeah, I was thinking that uh, maybe you'd let me pick out something for you to wear tonight. That's what I want to talk to you about, actually. You see, um, I, look, it, it's a little... It's, it's hard... You are so cute when you get flustered, you know that? Jesus, Ernie, will you just shut up so I can tell you I don't want to wear makeup and dresses anymore? Dude, I just used that bathroom. Believe me, I'm well aware. And just so you know, he didn't wash his hands. He says he's not going. He is if he knows what's good for him. Hey, don't stick that tongue out on me without you being prepared to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, I sound like my father, even with the bad sexual innuendo. Oh yes, 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 that made you sound even more like him according to what I've been hearing lately. <laughs> You're right. You got an old mama bear. But speaking of fathers, I'm gonna go drag yours to Chaz's party. See you there. Yeah, don't worry about it. I have a backup plan with Edward to get Chaz there. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Boy, if he's smitten. <laughs> huh? Breeze, he's obviously in love. <sighs> the kid? Yeah. With Bill. Who? Who else? It's obvious that he's like, uh... You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? So, how are you and Anthony doing? Uh, well, nice deflection there. Don't think we're not going to circle back around on that somehow. But uh, you could have landed on a worse topic. I don't want to talk about me and Anthony because there is no me and Anthony. There probably never will be. Oh, pish posh. Pish posh. That's okay. You don't have to say anything. I appreciate it. I just want you to be happy, both of you. I mean, you're like my son, probably closer than my son because you don't hate me all the time. Oh, come on, drink's coming around. If not, I'll smack some sense into him. Yeah. Thanks. It's just really difficult when your father isn't who you think you need him to be. Yeah. Well, you can't really force a relationship with your parents, Hunter. Especially when there's not one there to begin with. I didn't try to have a relationship with Drake when he was young. I just took him for granted. Maybe that's what your father's doing with you. <laughs> I think my father is thinking about only one thing, and that one thing is how many times he can get laid before he kicks the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm all for sowing your oats. But I've known my father my entire life. And I don't even think I know who he is. Why don't you ask him? What if I don't like the answer? Oh, yeah, we never like the answer. But that doesn't mean that the question isn't worth asking. The spitting image of Christ himself. If he ate the Last Supper himself, and maybe some of the apostles. Oh, you. Um, Mr. Grofos, I'd really like to talk to you about the paperwork that you filled out when you first started living here. Don't you have some chores, Penelope? No? That paperwork was so confusing. But David sat down with me and he helped me fill it out. And in the end, he assured me that it was just standard protocol for anyone joining the faith. I, I'd really like to talk to you about what was in those forms. <laughs> hmm, now let me think. Penelope! Chores! Now! Honestly, Spencer, I am just trying to have a conversation with the father. You don't have to be so intrusive. One, this is not the father. This is Anglicus. He's a member of David's field as anyone else. No matter how self-important he thinks he is. I really don't think that I- Two! Every member must carry their own weight. 
the moment they stop doing that, it's the moment their usefulness to the cause has ceased. Three. Every member of the flock must give over their worldly possessions to the church upon completion of the ceremony. There's nothing mysterious or secretive about this. Didn't David tell you that? Come, Penelope. Let's leave Anglicus alone with his thoughts. I, I'd really like to keep talking to you, Mr. Foley. Please, please don't ignore me. And, and I'd really like to know what happened to Marshall Phelps and Sister Mercy. I'm sorry, Hunter. I simply cannot do your job for you. After all, I was just about to call you and offer my congratulations to Chaz and my apologies for not being able to attend his party. Oh, I'm sure he'll understand, yes. Toodles. I didn't realize this was causing you to miss the party. Oh, don't worry about it. It was sure not to be memorable anyway. After all, I was not the focus of it and they didn't even want me to plan it. Well, are you sure? Because Jennifer. I... Jennifer, enough. I won't hear another word about it. I thought that I was going to hate you. You know, I, I mean, I do. You're so pretty and talented. I'd hate me too if I were you. But I thought I was really going to hate you. I mean, what kind of a woman steals another woman's dreams? One who is willing to seize what she wants. But I was not responsible for you losing the part of Countess Prodoja. All right, I, I know. I, I just want to say that I am extremely grateful that you are helping me get my revenge on the cobra. Well, it is kind of what I do, avenge wronged women. Don't you think you might want to remove that mask by now? No, no, I, I can't, I, I, I couldn't handle it. I need to say no, no. Hey, uh, Cupcake. Hey, Hunter. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to party. Yeah, about that. I need you to do something for me. Okay, what? Once I oh. kill him, go murder, you could pull me in an office but not till then. Armand, get your hands off him or so help me! I don't think he can hear you. You killed my grandson and my wife. You're not going to get away with it. I did it! That's right, go on, kill him, because that's going to bring your family back, isn't it? I know it's not going to bring him back. I'm a big boy. I know that already. He's just going to make me feel better. For now, maybe, but letting go would make you feel better still. I don't think so, son. I'm not talking about Anthony. I'm talking about Carla and Horatio. You loved them, and they were in your life, but they've moved on, and you need to move on, too. It's not that easy. Carla brought you happiness, right? <laughs> so how come you want to spoil that with this? Happiness is fleeting. We're all in each other's lives for as long as we can be, but then it's over, and it's no one's fault. If you want to hold on to something, hold on to the memories you made with Carla. Because to do this is to destroy everything you made together. It's not that easy. I'm asking you to try. Your hands were around the throat of the man I love. And I don't know how many moments of happiness I have left with him. But I want to enjoy each and every one of them. I'm begging you, Mr. Ashley, please don't take that away from me. I'm going after him. Just see if he goes, Ernie. Oh, my little puppet, I was so frightened for you. I can't believe it. Oh, no, shh, it's okay, it's okay, he's gone now. It's not that. I just, I know what I have to do now. I have to end things with Ernie. We can't be together anymore. Easy, Anglicus. Easy. Talk to me. You look troubled. I respect you. 
too much, David, to beat around the bush. Good. I think I should just come right out and tell you what I'm thinking. So go ahead. I should just yeah, cut right to the chase, you know what I mean? Because... <laughs> you really haven't changed, Anglicus. At all. That's not true. I'm... I'm different. Fine. I don't like to hear that these people are giving away all their earthly possessions to you. Penelope? And I'm starting to think that that's why Mr. Byron got so agitated. And what is this meditation room, by the way? And what happens when somebody gets locked up in it? Anglicus. Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 6, verse 20. We Huskers may not use the Gospels as the central pillars of our faith, but that doesn't mean we can't learn from them. Don't look at me like that. Once you go through your ceremony, you'll see things just like I do. We are doing these people a favor. We are giving their lives meaning. And now that you're here, we can do it together. Are you stealing from these people, David? They give us what they have so we can make their lives complete. That isn't stealing, Anglicus. That's caring. We're caring for them, you and me. We are making them bloom without the burden of making their own choices. Really, that is a gift to them. That is our gift to them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew, verse 3, chapter 5. It's the humble who find salvation, David. Not the arrogant who see themselves as saviors. <laughs> You really haven't changed, Anglicus. But it seems like you have. <sighs> this bite. You're telling me. I came out expecting to find a sexy pair of bears behind a bar, but I had to stare at a pair of boobs on a babe instead. I can't believe Dennis isn't here tonight. At least you have options. You know, I left a man at my house just waiting to please me, all so I could come here and help out. And did I mention that I spent the last year of my life in a mental asylum? Yeah, surrounded by gays. So yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Mama really just needs to get pleased. Suddenly you got a lot more interesting. But he hasn't said anything. True. But it's the way he says nothing with his eyes that speaks volumes. He's right. My God, he is right. Well, of course he is. <laughs> About what? I've been holding on to anger in my heart for Father Anglicus. But I've been such a fool. That man kept my love alive and we got to share our love for so much longer than anyone ever thought we would. The doctors. Even Howard and myself. We had years when everyone thought we had months. Why wouldn't I want Howard to live as long as possible? Oh, I can't believe I've been such a stupid old man. You got all of that from Chaz's eyes. Oh, yes. Well, that and my very expensive therapist. It's Chaz's message that pulled it all together for me. Okay. Oh, hey, you 
guys. Are you going to Chaz's party that I was disinvited to because someone needs to watch the bar? Not that I'm bitter, because I'm not. You sound a little bitter, actually. Um, we actually can't make it. Uh, something, something came up, so uh, that's why we're here. We wanted to congratulate Chaz on his big achievement. Shall we? Um, actually, Polly, I, I could use a drink. Sure, I'm gonna go say hi to Glenda. Give me a drink too, would you? Sure. Wow, Sam. I'd like to defrag his hard drive if you know what I mean. No idea what that means. You, my friend, have excellent taste. That man is as fine as white chocolate can be. And he's gonna hate me so much after tonight. Why? It's a long story, but. After tonight, I'll have plenty of time to tell it! I've realized I need to end things with Ernie. But, I can't do that until I've given him the perfect night because he deserves that. Oh! It's important to be safe. Safety first. I've got more if you need them! No glove, no love. Oh, poor guy. You know, I really hate to see them end. On the plus side, Mr. Man over there will be free. I wonder if he's into age play. Do you think he'd make a good daddy? Ernie? Oh yeah, definitely. He's a little bit of a pushover, but I think that he really cares about everybody in his life. And I'm starting to realize that you don't mean daddy isn't father, do you? Oh, but I do, ma'am. Every boy deserves a father. Even a boy is gonna be 38 next month. Things were so much simpler when I was surrounded by crazy people. Here? Oh, no thanks. I'm glad you can make it to the party. Of course. Chaz is a great guy, and he's Dennis's best friend, so I should be here to congratulate him. <laughs> I guess I'm just not used to Dennis keeping someone around. Yeah, I admit, Dennis's promiscuity gave me a bit of a pause at first, but he's a wonderful guy, and you have to take risks for wonderful guys, right? The slave tells me people change with time. <laughs> Looks like he's right. I mean, between you and Simon, Dennis is actually flirting with the idea of settling down. Simon? Yeah, uh, Dennis and Chaz's adult baby friend. Oh, they hooked up years ago. But then Dennis hooked up again with him recently in order to save me from being brainwashed. Say that part again? It really doesn't sound any less ridiculous if I repeat myself. No, the part about Dennis hooking up with Simon. Beer? Surprise! This is a kidnapping! Not a real kidnapping, officer. I'm just taking this fellow to his party. Uh, well, in that case, I suppose I can let this one slide. Assuming you don't kidnap anybody else tonight. Excellent. Now, if the victim will go and change, we can be on our way. I say, I've been meaning to ask you for a favor, but I need it done quietly. For you? Hardly a favor. Let's go to the bathroom right now. I'll pop you off while Chaz is changing. Oh, that's... Tempting, but no, I I need something done professionally. I think of you being a private investigator. Ah, say no more. What's up? Later. Come by the precinct on Monday. We'll talk then. Sounds good. I can still take care of you in the bathroom if you want. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm uh, I'm saving all that up for later tonight, if you know what I mean. I just realized that sounds kind of gross. Excuse me, Father Anglicus? It's just Angie, actually. Uh, but, you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, it's okay. You probably don't know my name. Oh, of course he knows your name, darling. He's Father Anglicus. He knows everyone's name. That's very nice of you, Mrs. Agrofos, but I actually have no idea who you are. Oh, well, you better tell him. <laughs> I'm Kara. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to help you today. It's okay, I'm actually here to help you. I heard them talking about Sister Marcy and Marshall Phelps. I know what happened to them. Kara will take you to the individuals I spoke to you about, Detective. Let me summon her. And you say they purchased the heroin, right? That's what you'll say happened, yes. Well, I can't really do anything if there is no evidence. There is evidence. You'll see to that, Detective. Because if you don't, your little secret won't stay between the two of us. I'm not a dirty cop. I am not. Oh, of course not. But you are one who's not above getting a little... dingy to protect himself. Why else do you think I sought you out? You set me up. You say potato, I say potato. <laughs> Oh, relax, detective. So you do little favors for me every now and then, and I keep what I know hush-hush. Fine. I mean, it's not like someone's gonna use this to blackmail me later on in something worse, right? It's not like there's like a whole legion of people out there waiting to manipulate me into my disgrace, right? Besides, these two people are drug addicts, right? Right. But that wasn't right. Sister Marcy and Marshall Phelps were not drug addicts, but that didn't stop David from sending them away. They were getting too popular, too powerful among the seeds. He was threatened. What? I do not believe this. I do not believe you. Father, we must get away from this woman before she spreads more lies. Come on. I'm sorry. She has trouble hearing the truth. Most of us do. It's okay. I'm used to it. I just wanted you to know. Oh, bother, what now? What took so long? I know I said the balcony. And I know I told you naked. Okay, so, yeah. Go on, you got a strip. I was thinking we could go to the party together instead. Oh, not interested. I got plans. I met this guy on, on line. Want to see his picture? You're never going to be with me, are you? Kiddo, I'm with you all the time. I thought... I thought you needed more time because you just came out. This isn't... This isn't that, is it? Should I explain to you what sex is? You're a big boy. From what I hear, you make quite a living at it. That was business. That was sure, but I thought we had something different. Despite my statements to the contrary? Yeah, I don't know how hearts work, okay? I thought I was done with nagging when I gave up women. Look, son, we are men. Men screw. That's what men do. Men screw, then screw the next thing. Men never settle down. It's against their nature. Yeah? So why do you keep screwing me? Well, you got a thing like you to stick your dick in. Here at home, don't you? Plug away. That's all this was. Look, I'm getting tired of this. Um, you uh, don't seem to understand. You don't understand. Okay, so in terms you are accustomed to here, just take out what I owe. And uh, I don't know what's going right is these days. that you have finally discovered the Lord does not want you to be a homosexual. We really should be doing our chores. What? No. This place is not what we thought it was. Not what I thought it was. Of course it isn't. It's so much better. This place is an upgrade for us all. Oh, sure, your little bar church was cute and all. But David has got a very faithful flock of people around him here. And he tells us, once you're done with your ceremony, you'll be leading right by his side. What? Are you deluded? We need to leave now. I shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here. I should be with Anthony. You should be with Piper. Neither of us should be here helping people hoodwink others into giving up everything that they own. Oh, Father, 
I'm sure you're just nervous before your ceremony. I have come to terms with the fact that I cannot help Appelina. Piper, I, I mean Piper. I've come to accept that. But thanks to you and David, I have found a truth in my heart I did not know existed. And now you want to take that away from me? Mm -mm -mm. No, I will not let you. Ted, what the hell? I know all about you and Simon. Sorry! So what? What's your point? You told me we were exclusive. To be fair, that doesn't sound like something Dennis would say. No. Well, let me paint a picture for you then. Look, I'm only gonna go farther if we are exclusive from this point on. Yeah, sure, whatever you want. Yeah? Yeah. I don't understand, I did what you asked. What do you think exclusive means, Dennis? To explore a hole. Theft, excavate, not exclusive. Wait a minute, is that why you started with rimming? Well, yeah. Why else would I skip right past the meat and potatoes and go straight for the chocolate souffle? Now that sounds like something Dennis would say. I need another drink. So it looks like the kidnapping was a success. Yeah, I even got a job from Anthony's cop. Oh yeah? I found out on Monday. Nah, he's gone. It's okay, it's all right. Um, yo, Gerard, where them hot dogs at? In my pants. Ah. No? Cool. No, I, I thought it was good, though. It's all right. We'll get him next time, team. David. Inglicus. Hello. Care to join us? I need to speak with you, David. Alone? If you've come to tell me you're leaving, don't bother. Penelope, my faithful seedling, has already told me. And if you want to go, please go. You're not a prisoner. Spencer, have you finished processing the new paperwork from Penelope yet? Should I? Hmm. I don't know. Anglicus, what do you think? I should, um, I should go prepare for my ceremony. That's a lot more important than a few pieces of paper. What a good idea, Anglicus. I don't think he's coming. Well, the Legion has been destroyed, so I'm sure that he's withdrawn into his private apartments by now. Oh. That building is amazing, except for all of his, his crazy rules. Jennifer, don't make any sudden movements and remain calm. You have an extremely large spider on your mask. Oh, sweet Lord. I told you to remain calm, Jennifer Hills. I can remain steady while staring at that enormous beast. Surely you can, too. Okay, okay. What do I do? What, what do I do? Slowly, very slowly, remove the mask and hand it to me. I will take care of the creature. I, I, I can't! My, my face! Jennifer Hills, I'm not sure if this arachnid is hungry, but it just licked its lips. <gasps> Okay, spiders have lips? <laughs> there, that wasn't so bad now, was it? 
You tricked me. Well, I had to. You were trapped in fear, so I had to make you more afraid of something else so that you would be released. You look fine, completely normal. <gasps> but LaCabra said, how did you know? Men like LaCabra rely on fear to stay in control. They are tiny little men with big voices. And because they have the biggest voice, they think that we have to listen to them. But their fear relies on smoke screens and lies. They clear away the smoke and all you're left with is tiny little babies tweeting and twerping like impotent little birds. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know why you're being so nice to me. I've only ever tried to hurt you. Well, someone had to break the cycle. And I'm all about being the bigger person. Looks like you have a lot on your mind, Father. Catholics are good at guilt. And at playing the martyr. Look, I believe I know what's going on here, and I don't like it. And I'm not gonna let my friend fall victim to it. It's easy to say that you believe in something. But we Huskers, we put our money where our mouths are. Literally. It's cost us everything to follow the path that David has plowed for us, but it is worth it. And you, with your fair weather faith, you think you have it all figured out. But if you're really going to join us, it's going to cost you, Father, everything. Crazy couple of weeks, huh, Chaz? You know, you could tell him. I know it's crazy thinking about getting what you want, but it could happen. You just have to speak up. I know, I know, I'm not one to talk. I'm still pining over my husband, which I wanted a divorce from. But I've had a lot of time, you know, with this whole impotence thing. It's really made me realize what's in.
Canceled. What? That's ridiculous. Hunter put a deposit down. I was here when it happened. Yeah, but they said that they had a better offer from Gary's ball bag down the street. Those bastards. <gasps> Polly, why don't you sing? No, no, I, I'm i really, really out of practice, especially since I've been in a nut house the past few months. Oh, fish so. posh. I just, I don't feel like I'm good enough. <laughs> I will not hear another word of you putting yourself down. I've had a very difficult time these past few months since my husband passed. I need a win, and by God, if that win has to come vicariously through you regaining your confidence, then so help me that win is going to come. Now you get up on that stage. I just gotta ask, are you in love with me? This hunter seems to think you're in love with me. <laughs> That's what I thought. Listen, if I haven't said it before, I'm really proud of you. Sorry, kid. Predator is on the hunt. My dear, I'll give you 60 seconds to disappear. And if you don't get out of here... Edward, forget about playtime. Make dinner. Who knows? For all of us. Cause I've been trying to find out if an angel bends or breaks or shatters. Destruction and creation are the same things after us.
Destruction and creation are the same things after You aren't the David I remember. No, I'm the David you forgot. The David you remember is a lie you tell yourself to remember something fondly that didn't exist. No, I don't believe that. David, my David, was a sweet and loving boy who cared about helping people. You are not my David. Oh, would you wake up? We can do incredible things here, but I need you. Isn't that what you've always wanted to hear? I need you. Well, it's true. Here I am, begging for your help. I can't keep this up on my own. Not without your help. Don't make me threaten your friend again, Anglicus. Okay? Now go. Here we are, my seedlings, my kernels. Here we are, together with the man who shall help us preach our faith to the masses, where I have helped each and every one of you become the person I have seen you really are. Anglicus shall help the many in realizing that same potential while adhering to my vision. Rejoice, Huskers, for our salvation is here. He's 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 here. Don't move yet, Papa. Not yet. Enjoy the moment a few minutes longer. Everything is going to change soon enough. I can't put it off any longer. I gave him the night that he deserved. But I have to give him the truth that he deserves now. Dear Anthony, I want to thank you for the best year of my life. I really mean that, too. Getting to be your friend made me the luckiest man in the world. But this past year, getting to be your boyfriend? Well, I'm a little worried you ruined other men for me. I didn't know love existed like the love I feel for you. But that's why I know it has to end. You're never going to look at me the same way you look at Hunter. That's not meant to be mean or accusatory, it's just the truth. And I love you too much to force you to be with me. I know you probably figured this out for yourself. You're a smart guy. Smartest I've ever known. And I know you're probably having the hardest time telling me. So I want to make it easier for you. Because the last thing I want is to see you hurting. So I'm breaking up with you, Anthony. Last night was meant to be the perfect night for us. Something for you to remember me by. 
And now that it's over, I guess I'm too scared to see your face when you find out we're over too. I hope you'll forgive me for this. Sometimes two people don't work out for no other reason than they just don't. You've meant the world to me, Anthony, but we both know the truth. So thank you. Thank you for the insanity, the passion, thank you for the laughter, and thank you for the adventures of the past few months. I will always be there for you, and I hope you'll always be there for me, as friends. I love you, Anthony. This is not goodbye.